In this video I'm going to demonstrate one of the new features that came out in Seekmonk version 0.25. Uh, this is a variation on the existing trend plot that we used to have in the old versions and still have, but this one is the quantitation trend plot. The advantage of the quantitation trend plot is that whereas the original trend plot was limited to simply measuring read depths from raw data uh, and their patterning over probes, the quantitation trend plot allows you to do this with any kind of value that you can quantitate. To demonstrate this, I'm going to draw a quantitation trend plot around genes uh, and measuring, in this case, methylation levels. So I've got a CPG methylation track here. Uh, and I'm going to quantitate this around genes and then draw out the profile of this uh, methylation over all genes. To start with, I'm just going to make single probes over all of the genes that I want to measure with five kilobases of context on either side. So I'm going to define my probes with a feature probe generator around genes and making five kilobases of context on either side. I'll just do a fixed value quantitation on this just so they show up. And when I've done that, now what I'm going to do is to fragment these regions into shorter overlapping probes that I'm actually going to use to quantitate. So if I go back to define my probes again, I'm going to do a running window generation. I'm going to make one kilobase probes and place these every 500 bases just within the set of probes that I've currently got. So I'm going to tile probes over the gene probes that I've already made. To quantitate these I'm not going to use a standard quantitation but I'm going to go back to the quantitation pipelines and do a bisulfite methylation over feature pipeline using the most lax settings and run this. This will take a little time to calculate so I'm going to pause the video here until it's complete. Now that the quantitation is complete, you can see that I have a set of tiled probes over all my genes, plus, plus and minus 5 kb, and that these are now quantitated with a percentage methylation. To summarize these then across all genes, what I can do is to go to plots and quantitation trend plot. I'll select that I'm going to quantitate over genes with 5 kilobases of context upstream and downstream. Because my quantitation uh, for my methylation won't necessarily have had enough data to calculate a methylation value at each point, I can filter the values that I want to use in this plot. The methylation quantitation pipeline assigns a value of minus one to any region that it couldn't quantitate with a real methylation percentage, so if I just filter from values starting at naught up to whatever, but a hundred percent in this case, uh, then those unmeasured regions will be excluded from the quantitation trend plot and then I'll create the plot. Because I've asked for the plot to look at both upstream and downstream context, re context regions it will effectively have three panels in it. The upstream and downstream will be fixed size because they're always five kilobases whereas the central panel because it's over genes, will be relatively sized and will just indicate percentiles of the gene. So here you can see the plot that's been generated. If I expand this a little bit, you can see the central portion represents the methylation of the gene, and in this case uh, I have a methylation that increases continuously throughout the length of the gene body. This is the 5 kilobases upstream where I can see that there's a loss towards the start of the gene and then afterwards I can see that it's a, a slightly flatter profile. So hopefully that gives you a quick introduction as to how to create these fairly complex plots in a fairly straightforward way within SeekMonkey.